Salut everyone! In this video, I'm gonna show you how to transform your Arch Distro or Arch Base Distro into Kashi OS. Are you ready? Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. Since the publication of my videos related to Kashi OS tutorial, I have a lot of users who are asking me how can I switch my own like Arch Distro install to Kashi OS. Do I need to reinstall? And the answer is no. You actually don't need to reinstall anything. Kashi OS come with a tool that give you the opportunity to add their repository and then switch all your packages, your existing packages, to the one which are optimized from the Kashi OS repository. But before we jump into it, I want to make a big, big disclaimer. Attention, as we say over there, attention. Obviously, it's easy to play with the repo and, and start uh, uh, to tweak up and down and, and have fun with them. However, what I want to say is like I'm not responsible for you breaking your Arch installation. On default, if you know what you are doing, you are not watching this video because the wiki is already available out there. <laughs> so you just have to Google like Kashi OS repo and you should find the actual repository there. So it's not like, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to find. So make sure you know what you are doing because you could be in a situation where everything can break really fast. And I would say, if you have no idea of what a repository is, if you have no idea on how to really like understand the structure of download of your packages on your machine, just make a backup of your actual like installation and uh, move to uh, Cache OS with, with a fresh start. That would be my recommendation, okay? But I want to make sure that you understand that this video is just educational and I don't do any problem resolution or any type of support if you install the repo and you explode your Arch distro. Just want to make sure of that. Now I covered the risk related to this operation. I'm going to show you my own operating system, which is actually a base Arch with the repo of Cache OS installed in, on top of it. And I've been running it for more than three months now because prior to that, I was just running Kashi OS and I was kind of bored. So I was like, mm, I'm going to try to start from a fresh Arch installation and then upgrade the repo to the Kashi OS one. And I have to say my experience has been flawless. However, because I already done it on my machine, what I've done is that I install Endeavor OS on my uh, Proxmox server there. And we are going to install the Kashi repository on this one. We're going to do it together like that. You will understand really what it's all about. So as you can see, uh, this is a fresh Endeavor OS uh, installation. We are running uh, the kernel uh, delivered by the distro, Wayland, and it's a virtual machine. I, I, I was lazy, guys. I, I didn't want to install again uh, on my a normal like hard drive. I hope you will forgive me. But honestly, like if you are doing in a virtual machine or you are doing live on your PC, it's not going to change a lot. I'm, I'm just going to go through it and you will see it's, it's crystal clear. So the first point you really need to understand is the fact that those repositories are going to really help you to boost the performance on your machine depending on the hardware you use. And mainly using the V3 version of the packages is going to give you a little bit of performance uplift, which is interesting. But you will also have access to all the pre-compiled kernel, pre-compiled driver, pre-compiled application, which are in the Cache OS repository, which is, in my opinion, super cool. One really important point you need to note is the fact that by installing those repositories in an automatic way, this is what I'm going to be covering, in this tutorial, you're going to have to get rid of the actual Pacman of Arch. Okay, you're going to have to use the Pacman delivered by Kashi OS. I know some of you guys are like, oh no, it's not going to happen. Uh, I want to keep the Pacman from, 
uh, arch. No problem. Uh, there is a way to avoid that, and there is a certain repo that you won't have access to. Uh, but overall, like the upgraded packages, they are going to be available for you. I won't be covering that because, in my opinion, it's not a big deal. But if you are really into it, I really encourage you to go and check the wiki and check the manual approach to install the repository. And like that, you will be able to avoid to replace the original Arch uh, package manager Pacman. So to be clear, the new version is the same modified to work with the actual repo. Simple as that, in terms of like daily usage, it's going to be exactly the same application. So how do we install the script? The script, it's pretty easy. You're going to have the command on their website. You go there and you copy and paste the command into your terminal. So I'm going to copy and paste them. It's going to ask you for your password. So here you type your password. So you will see that it will install the key, add the, the mirror list to uh, your uh, mirror list selection. And here you're going to install the new Pac-Man as I mentioned earlier. So type yes. And now it's going to do a full system upgrade. And if you see here, you're going to watch that the repo are going to be put on top of the other one. So two points which are super important in my opinion. First one is that the repo are going to be at the top of the other one. So in your selection of packages in general is going to override the rest. So something you have to take in consideration. If you are already dealing with a pacman.conf and a lot of repo before maybe upgrading everything, go there and really change the order you are looking forward to uh, in order not to, to break everything. Just my two cents. The second point is related to the driver. And I'm thinking about the NVIDIA driver. Uh, now you have to think that the data related to the driver is included in the initramfs and this could lead to your boot partition being too small to handle this upgrade. Make sure you have enough space before you do the full upgrade because otherwise you're going to encounter some issue. And here they're actually mentioning it. Uh, so since the 6.7 kernel does now bundle the NVIDIA GSP firmware as default, you might get into out of space of your boot partition. So make sure you have enough space before starting the upgrade. Here I know I'm going to be fine, so I'm going to start. Yes. And you will see like the, the upgrade is going to be pretty big for a simple reason is like now you're going to have access to all the V3 upgraded packages, which is pretty nice. I also want to say that this script is really good because it's going to detect automatically which optimization you need depending on your CPU. So for example, here I'm running the VM on a thread ripper. And he noticed that it was a V3 generation of, of CPU and he installed the right repository for it, which is just awesome. And voila. Now the last thing you need to do is reboot. So we're going to reboot and welcome back. So I'm going to show you exactly why it's really interesting. So now let's see what really changed. If I put a fast fetch again, it looked like nothing really changed. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use yay because this is the package helper available on end of OS. And I'm going to add uh, Kashi OS uh, kernel manager. I'm going to search for this package. And you will see it's going to find it. Kashi OS kernel manager here. And it shows you the repo. Kashi OS. So I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to tap my password. It's going to install it. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start the kernel manager and I'm going to install uh, what I'm going to install here. Let's say I want to install Cache OS LTO with all the optimization. And you see they are already on 6.11. I'm going to click here, type my password. I could have done it through the terminal, but I was like, nah, let's do it. And here we go. You're going to have BPF. You're going to have uh, SCX schedule because this kernel includes the SCX scheduler. So everything is ready to go. You press enter. It's going to download it. And, and this is why it's really cool. And if you think about it, that, that's really all you have to do, right? Now you are using a base of Endeavor OS with Dracut, all the hook which are given through Endeavor OS, all the theming of Endeavor OS. But the back 
will be handled by Kashi with the Kashi OS kernel and all the optimized app from Kashi. And you know, like it's a kind of like issue you could be scared to enter is the fact that Kashi OS, for example, use I don't know, like a MK init CPIO and and OS use Dracut, well, it doesn't really count, right? Because switching from one repo to another is not going uh, to have any type of influence on that. And voila, he updated everything. I'm going to reboot just for the science, but you will see everything is going to be fine. And voila, I'm running Linux Cache OS LTO on my base and OS with the repository from Cache OS. This is just awesome. It's, it's, it's not that hard when you think about it. Now, in case you don't like the repo for whatever reason, there is also an option to remove them automatically. I'm going to put the link in the description below uh, for you to be able to do that. But again, like uh, nothing really crazy. Make sure that everything is kind of aligned with you uh, removing those repositories because obviously it could hurt uh, when you do a big upgrade after removing those repositories, which makes sense. And voila, we are done. You can now enjoy your Arch distro or Arch based distro with the Cache OS repository. Guys, as always, I want to thank all the members of La Crème de la Crème Club. You guys are the best, whether you are supporting me through Patreon or the YouTube membership. And uh, until then, see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.